seriously? Partner, I've been looking all over for you. And where do I find you? Alone, in your barracks room. I should have known. I know you like your alone time, so I'm gonna try and stay quiet so no one else knows we're here. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> I just had to congratulate you today. You did such a great job. Like, it was awesome. <laughs> we killed so many aliens out there today. You know, they were like, pew, 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 and we were like, pew, pew, and they were like, pew, 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 and we were like, not on my watch, and well, you know, for a second there, I thought we were goners. You know, our mech did take some substantial damage, but, you know, in the end, of course, you got that last shot on them, and we won. I mean, honestly, they never stood a chance. <laughs> Whew, I mean, our squad is, what, number one at this point? How many kills does that make this, uh... This week even way more than uh, projected we're on a roll <laughs> and now we must sit back and enjoy the extra rations <laughs> got this beauty from the uh, lunch room took me back into this like you know uh, there's like a secret door I guess where they keep all the good stuff you know for all the mech pilots that do a good job, so I got this one. Red delicious. <laughs> you know, I wonder, what does one of these taste like that's not synthetic? <laughs> you know, like, grown from a tree on earth. You know, the, the way it was supposed to be grown. You know what? When we kill these alien scum and we get Earth back, Binky promise, you and me, we're gonna eat a real Red Delicious, not this stupid synthetic one. All right, it's a promise. Now it's gonna happen, right? Mm. I mean, this is pretty good too. <laughs> Can you imagine what a real one would taste like? Man. Oh, so good. Hmm. I mean, think about it. Down on Earth, sitting on the beach, the warm sun kissing our skin, the sounds of the ocean soothing our senses, the wind against our face, all while eating a crisp, red, delicious, crisp, red, delicious, crisp, crisp. I mean, that's what I'm fighting for. I mean, I guess I'm fighting for everyone. You know, to be able to be able to get off this godforsaken space station with like real air, <laughs> real earth human oxygen. <laughs> I fight for. for the ability for everyone to be able to eat a crisp red delicious whenever they want. <laughs> God, screw those aliens, man. <laughs> mm. Want some? I mean, you can go get your own if you want. You're also allotted uh, like 10 extra units. This cost eight, but uh, you know, I got a Twinkie with the other two, so it's totally worth it. 
What are you gonna get with your extra units? Mm. I mean, real spaghetti sounds good, but I mean, I, I quite like my buttered noodles. Not bad. Ugh, it's when all they have is protein mush. Ugh, it's the worst. Anyway. Uh, the other thing. I just wanted to talk to you about, I mean, you know, you just seem quiet, and I was just wondering if you were okay. You know, we had, like, that luncheon with everyone after battle, and you didn't come to that, and usually you do, so. I was just, is it about our mech? I mean, things happen all the time. <laughs> Our mech is fine. It's being fixed by Finn. I mean, he's the best technician we got, so it'll be better by next battle. <laughs> it's not your fault. Or, or is it about uh, Kit? Listen, I know I haven't really been that great of a friend. It's been a week since it happened, so I just wanted to give you some time. I mean, listen, <laughs> our job is dangerous. Every single day could be our last day. Like I said, we fight for the people to be able to live on Earth. You know, we put our lives on the line, and so did he. He knew what he was getting into. I know that he was like a big brother to you. I mean, heck, we all looked up to him. I mean, we all grieve differently. I know I seem like I'm fine on the outside, but really, I'm having a hard time too. Don't make this about you. I know he liked you the best, but come on. You know how many times he told me that he thought that you were the one that changed the face of this war? I mean, it's true. <laughs> You're the best damn pilot we got. <sighs> I mean, I'm just there because the mech takes two to pilot. <laughs> You're nice to me. We make a good team, don't we? Yeah. I'm, I miss him. I mean, there are times where I think I'm okay. You know, in battle, it was hard not to. Remembering all those times he saved our butt. <laughs> Sometimes I'm walking down the hall or I'm in the, the lunchroom or something, and I see someone that looks kind of like him. And I just get that feeling all over again. Feelings of sadness and loss. And it takes so takes a lot to shake it out of your head, you know? <sighs> or when I see something that he used to wear, like a style that he used to wear, it makes me think of him, you know? How cool he was. <laughs> and when I sit alone by myself, my barracks room. I remember all the things I didn't say. I remember 
anytime I ever did anything crappy to him. Sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to bring this up. I just... I thought maybe you need it. Heck, maybe I need it. <laughs> I try to remember all the good times. <sighs> but man, it's so hard. I want to just push the idea of him out of my memory. But it's so hard when everything reminds you of them. Everything they touched, everything that they liked. I mean, like, Taco Tuesday. <laughs> that was his favorite. <laughs> now every Taco Tuesday, instead of being excited for tacos, I'm just miserable. But, you know, I, I keep going, you know, I truck along. <laughs> because we got a job to do. It's very important and I can't, I can't let this get to me. And I know that sounds insensitive, but we have a lot of people that are looking at us. Everyone else looks up to the mech pilots because they know that we are the ones that are going to save them in the end. You know, if, if it wasn't for us, aliens would have eaten them by now. <laughs> so, I don't want to show that it gets to me. Anytime we lose someone, it really gets to me. And I try to shut it out, but this one, it was so hard. <sighs> I know you must feel the same way. used to always do that together. I was so jealous. <laughs> it looked like a lot of fun. What is one of your favorite memories? <laughs> really? <laughs> God, this sounds just like him. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> yeah. I think that, uh, when we went to that satellite station that uh, was kind of built to look like Disneyland. I mean, there's like, what, one ride? <laughs> Most of it is just gift shops. But, um, we went there together and just had a really fun time. Watched the fireworks. <laughs> LEDs at the top of the space station, but I don't know. Drinking hot chocolate. Having a chill time, you know? Moments like that, I really, I really treasure. <sighs> God. What do you do to make it better? I guess sitting and thinking about it and making yourself all worked up doesn't really help, huh? Maybe it does. Maybe it does help to think about all the worst things, because that way they don't pop up in your head randomly. <laughs> like those thoughts, like, I'll never get to hug them again. I'll never get to speak to them again. <sighs> we'll never get to go get a drink together. Alongside them, I'll never get any more of their knowledge. I mean, I feel like we still had so much more to learn. <laughs> now it's over. I think that's the worst part, is knowing that it's over. And that they will never come through the doorway with a big smile on their face <laughs> ever again. I like to think that 
he's in a good place. And then he watches over us, you know? No matter what you believe. It doesn't matter what your religion is, whatever. <laughs> I mean, religion right now is just a conglomeration of every single one that was ever created, so... I think that it's okay that we get to pick and choose the parts that we want. But I choose to believe that they're eternally happy. Looking down on us as we kick some alien butt. <laughs> Damn. It does really help though talking with you about it. <sighs> I think we should do like a toast or something. Go to the bar, get a drink, eat some of his favorite snacks. Just say a few words. None of his None of us have done that yet because we haven't been ready, but if we don't do it, then it's just going to be an open wound. If we don't talk about it, if we just let it be, I don't think any of us can heal. <laughs> I'm not a very good planner. <laughs> Maybe you could do it. <laughs> Maybe we could just to someone who is good at planning. Oh, man. You know what I do want is like 10 Twinkies. I want to eat all of the Twinkies. <laughs> Drown my sorrows. <laughs> ah, I know, I know, I know. It's not the best way to do it. I think talking to you is the best way to do it. I think you're really good at listening. You understand, and that's, I think, what helps. <laughs> you know, talking to people who also knew him and share the same feelings. <sighs> when will you ever stop thinking, why him and not me? When does it go away? Maybe never. <sighs> You're right, I shouldn't say stuff like that. <laughs> but it's what I think. No, it's not that I want to die or anything. It's just... I don't know. It's just how it is. <sighs> but anyway, I feel like we should get those Twinkies <laughs> and use our extra rations on that and then go watch a TV show that's funny and anti-sad and lift our spirits. And if you want, we can talk more about this. I feel like I did a lot of talking. If you want, you can talk my ear off about it too. <laughs> Good. I'd like to hear that. So, uh, what do you say? We go get those Twinkies. And then, after that, we go check on our mech, make sure it's okay, so that we can kick some alien butt and show them what we're made of. <laughs> yes, that's the spirit. That is what I've been looking for. <laughs> Listen, next time you're feeling down, just come to me, okay? I'm, I'm your partner, okay? I will always be there for you. I know he was the one you used to go to, but if you need, you know, a good friend, I mean, why not, you know, the other person that pilots the mech with you? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs>